Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of tutorial, we're building the simplified natural language processing web application, right? So the name of the app we're building is NLP5 Double FF, right? And then if I paste in the test here and I click on NLP5, it's going to analyze it and then give me the result. Okay, so this is the test, this is the result, this is the test I supplied here, the time it took, and then it's going to give me all the tokens that I have for this particular test I supplied. Then it's also going to give me, I can also check for the word info. It's going to give us token, lima, shape, and then whether it's an alphabet, and then whether it's a stop, stop word. So if I take a word like said, the lima of said is said, right? If I take a word like that, it is truly a stop word. So that is the things I hear for this one. Then you can also check for the entities inside this particular test. The entity there was Patrick McKinsey, and he's a person. Then you can also check for the part of speak tagging. The normal tree blank tagging and the Google's format of tagging, and then the dependencies for the particular tokens for each and every of the tokens. And also check for the sentiments, which is going to give us a polarity of 0.4 and then subjectivity of 0.425. Then you can also check for the meaning, just like we did the previous one. So if I click on a word like Patrick to redirect us to dictionary.com, right? To give us the word Patrick, the meaning of Patrick. Perfect, right? So that is giving us as Patrick here. That is very simple. Okay, nice. Now these are some some of the basic stuff we did in the previous tutorial. Apart from that, you can also check down here, and you're going to get the word in the, the format of JSON, the JSON format like this, which is not that nice, but you manage it like that. So that is the basic idea for these ones. Now let's work on the API. So if you go to the API session, click on the API here. It's going to redirect us to how to use the API, right? So we're going to have each and every of the endpoints. This is just the documentation. So we have a resource and then the end the result that they will use. So these are all endpoints we'll be using. So now let's try it and see. So I'm just going to go to backslash, then tokens, which is our function or our resource that we want to go to our endpoint. I'm going to put paste my test here. And then our, when I run it, it's going to give me the results, the test supplied, and then the tokens inside it. Very nice. I can also go to this here particular point here. And change this endpoint to lima. Then it's going to give me the lima in the particular test so that the word something like uh, got is given us as get, right? Which is, which is perfectly working. And also check for sentiments by going to sentiment and then it's going to analyze the word and give us our polarity and our subjectivity, which is very simple and interesting. And also check for let's say. You want to get all the entities, you can just go with name entities by going to NER, right? Then it's going to analyze it and then give us a particular way. Uh, Patrick McKinsey as a person. You can also use entities too if you want. Okay. So, apart from that, you can also check for the entire stuff by going to NLPFF5. NLP5. Then it's going to analyze and give everything for us as simple. So, that's what we bought in this particular tutorial. Which is very interesting. Okay. Now, apart from that, you can also go to the image cloud. So, if you go to the image cloud, to give you the option of how to work with the image cloud. Right. So, you just go to figure and then let's go to backslash figure then backslash your test. So, let's give it a word like hello world. And we're going to analyze it, take some time. This is not the best method, but at least it will work. Just to add some dynamic into it. Perfect. So that it does now analyze it for us. It has given us the word cloud by changing it to hello world in a different format. Okay. okay. So that is what we've been in this tutorial. So it's very simple and then it is quite interesting to work. Right. So now let's start with our particular. So I've already created a folder. So this is a basic folder which we started with. And it's having a static folder. There's nothing there. And then we have our template with three files right our index.html file so in the inside this index.html file i've just extended bootstrap and then use the normal bootstrap so i've added a new version of bootstrap here which is the current version and then i have created a link to our custom.css so let's create our custom.css file inside our static create a folder called custom cost called c CSS, then inside my CSS file, I'll just create a file called custom 
dot CSS, right? Okay, so here we put all our custom CSS stuff. Here. Okay, so that is being linked to this one. That's the second one. And then inside here we have max and hook, right? So this is going to be the end block to for the previous content and then block styles, and then we are bringing the super to allow us to use all these JavaScript, jQuery, Popper, and then Bootstrap. All of these things allow us to get all the functionalities of Bootstrap. So that is the basic idea for the for the index. So I'll copy this thing here and then paste it inside our results, right? A restful, restful docs. So it's almost the same thing. So we just get the same stuff here. Okay, perfect. So we are done with two of them. Now let's see on our app.py file. So on our app.py file, we have this particular single stuff here. We have flag from flags, import flags, URL for request, render template, JSONify, and then send file. So we're using the JSONify to do our API stuff and then send file to send our image. And then we have imported bootstrap and we have passed bootstrap around our app. We have both our first route leading to our index.html file and then we have we are closing it. So that is the basic idea about it. Now let's let me restart this particular app. Okay, so so the requirement for this is that you need to install Flux Flux Bootstrap. You can use materialize if you want. And also we need to install spacing test blob. Then we need red cloud. And then we need also to install Matt plot lake, right? These are the basic stuff that you need for this particular app. So let me run our app here. Yeah. If I check if we have this app files, so app.py static and then template. So I'm just going to go into Python, app.py, right? You can also use flux run. So now let's start building it. So I'm just going to finish with the front end here, yeah. then we start with the back end. Yeah, simple thing. So the most important thing we need for this one is that we need to be able to get to add some things to make it work. So I'm just going to create a simple demo job. So div everybody loves to triple them. div and class nimble tron then test center. Right, and then I'm just going to create a container here, class container and then here I'll just paste in something simple h2 for nl nlp5 right double f right there single name this one has been taken already that's why we are using double f the same thing right the name has been taken already okay now let's go with p and then natural language processing simplified simplified not simplified <laughs> okay nice so that is the basic stuff we have done for our stuff for our jumbo job so i want to add some bootstrap stuff let's check it here that's running so it's that's open right i just copy this url here and then i'm going to paste this url inside here and run it Right, so the test that we did, the LFFI, natural language processes simplified, it's working in a very nice and simple format. Okay, so that's the first step, right? The next thing we need, we need to get our navigation. So I'm just going to copy the navigation from Bootstrap here, get Bootstrap, this is an example. So I'll go to view page source. Now copy from the nav bar here till this nav bar. Now paste it at the top here. Perfect. So we have gotten our now bar. So I'll just change this one to NLP5. NLP5. And then this is going to be for our API docs. And then this is going to be for our about page. Right, so I'll repeat this one here that we have to give us for our image cloud. So that we have all our stuff there so image cloud Perfect. so we are done with it now i don't need this one i don't need this drop down i don't need this form but we create our own form so let's save it and then if i run it 
okay now we have our header right so home api image cloud and about which is very simple it's working in a very nice format so i think the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to let's put some breaking point here to bring it in now let's work on our form right so how do you receive some how do you receive whatever thing you're going to create so we're going to create a simple form there so div then class of container and then we need to create a form so it's going to be a simple form and then the form is going to take a method and an action so the method is going to be post and then the action is going to be our route right so we can use this format you can use this analyze or you can use any of them right you can use analyze or you can use url for any of them to to pick so we need to create this particular route with that so let me give it a form control a class of form group and then let's create our test area so test area so the test area is where we're going to place in our test so the most important thing for the test area is the name and I'm going to call us raw test, right? And then we need to create a columns of three, of three, four, or any of them, and the rows of three, and then let's add some class to it of form control. Okay, so we have them to work with our test, right? And this is all that we need for this particular session. Now the next thing is we need to create some buttons, so I'm going to create a simple button. Then the button is going to take a type of reset to clear our stuff. And then class of btn, btn outline success. So this is going to be for our clear. So the reset is going to allow us to clear everything. Then we need to create another button, which is going to be for our submit, right? So this is going to be submit. And then we're going to change it from outline success to outline primary. And then here we change it to NLP5. NL you can call it anything that you want. Anyway, so perfect. So let's run it and see. Perfect, right? So we have this and then this working. I think I made a mistake. Outline, see what I spelled. Outline. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So that is for the form here, right? I'm going to get the form. So the next thing we need is to retain our results. So this is going to be our form. So to retain our results, then this is going to be class of container. So we retain our results to this particular option here, right? Okay, perfect. So we have named to work on this. So let's go back to our back end. Okay, so inside our form, we created a route called analyze, right? So we need to create a route to this particular point here. I'm just going to copy the same thing here that we have. And then create another route. And then this route is going to be analyze. Then we're just going to call it analyze. Perfect. So we have analyze. And since we're using a method of post, right, we, may, we need to be able to get it and post it. Right, so I'm just going to create a method. Methods. We are using two methods. We are using we are using get, and then we are using post. Perfect. So we have named to work with our method. That is all that we need to do for now. Okay, so, so we have to receive whatever thing that is coming from. So it's going to be if request dot method equal to post then I want to do something with it right so here is where we're going to do all our analysis analysis right with NLP so I need to import NLP from above so I'm just going to go it with this particular format of it's called as NLP packages we're going to be we need to use spaces so we're going to import spacey then create an NLP object of spacey dot load here right that is going to be our NLP object then we also need to import test block 
So we're going to be from test law import test block capital T test law. Okay, so we are going to work with our NLP package that we did for now. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So since we have already created an NLP object, I'm just going to create a doc. I'm going to create a doc to receive it, right? So let's first of all create our raw test to receive our raw test. So we a variable called raw test then request dot form. I can use dot get anyway. Then I'm going to pass in my raw test. So this raw test is coming from our index file here, which we had as raw test here, right? Perfect. So that is the raw test we are receiving. So we are, we are storing inside this variable called raw test. And I'm going to pass this raw test into our NLP object to be using. So I'm going for those docs. Then I use NLP, which we are creating, getting from the spacey. And I'm going to pass in my raw test. So it is with this particular NLP object we have created from our test we have received that we are going to do all our analysis. So we are going to do tokens for finalization. I'm going to do, let's say, wedding info for our lima and our ship and all of those things. We are also going to do part of speed tagging, set post, part of speed tagging, we're also going to do our entities, NER, and then we're also going to check for our space, the sentiment, right? So for the sentiment, you know, be using space, you can also use space, but you have to create another extension for it, but we just be doing test block for that one. Right? So this is the basic stuff. Now let's see how to create our simple dots. So the normal way for working with to create so the normal way to work is just to go with for let's see for token in my door then let's say print let's say token dot test right that is how to create a token in space that is where tokens so we'll be creating a list comprehension from this to make it quite simple right so let's go with a simple so custom tokens I'm going to call it as inside the list comprehension so it's going to be my token dot test for where for token let's make it token like that for token in dot right perfect so this is going to create a simple web list for us right, so let's try that one let's check and see I'm going to send this particular stuff there custom tokens is going to be custom tokens and I'm sending this particular custom tokens here to our result file here so for you to work I can have to just use a for loop I can put it there straight away but let's work with the for loop so it's going to be the normal junior stuff for I in custom tokens we'll be looking through our items and I'm just going to keep it as an, as an ally and I'm going to pass in our test, our I here, right? It's going to be I. Perfect. Then I need to close this our loop with our end for. End for. So we are going to work with it in a nice way. Let's run it and see. Perfect. Now everything is working. So in case I paste in a test, so let's give it my hello world. This is NLP. If I click on NLP file, perfect, right? So it is it is able to work, but we are not seeing it. So let me save it and then let's run it again. Custom tokens and then custom tokens, right? It's perfect. So I think you have to create a refresh button. Let's create a simple refresh button so that we don't need to be going up and down. So a ref, I'm going to call this as using the normal stuff that we know. You are a four. URL for then I'm going to redirect this to in this file so class for btn btn prime I'm going to call this as refresh so this is going to help us with our refresh button so let's go back and check and see cancel fill Right, so we have our fresh button. So let's paste in the test and see. 
hello world this is nlp nlp file so prints perfect now see that i always are showing the right out of this this receiving the test from our form here and then this we send it to our back end and then passing through nlp then it is giving us our tokens which we have looked through it in a very nice format so that's how to create our particular tokens so let's do another step right which is going to be for if you want to get it like in a format of a just a token format so i can just go with it then this is going to be our class container then i'm going to put inside a preformat this this okay and i can also put this particular stuff here so let's give it as results this one or something like this yeah. so i have to create this particular result this one. i want to show it how it's going to show in a json format here so to get the result this this one i can just go to this particular file using the word info so i'm just going to custom the word info then the word info is going to be a, a list of all the things that we need so it's going to be a token the test then we have token dot lima then token dot is stop where right so let's give it as token dot ship and yes don't forget to bring this box this stuff here because this is a string representation to give us the string representation because this is space then we need the next one which is going to be a string it's alpha right so it's going to be a string is alpha can add plenty stuff to it specific uses a lot of options i'm going to put this entire stuff inside a tuple and then i'm going to go with a normal for for token in to. right this is a list comprehensive to work format okay so this is our custom info so i can just send this particular custom info here as custom word info is going to be custom word info okay i want to get all of them in this so i'm going to follow the results JSON, then to get all of them in a the format of a JSON format, whereby you can place it as a pretest there, I need to import JSON. If I go straight away with this, I need to import JSON. So I'm just going to go with here, then call it as other packages, right? So I'm going to let's import JSON. So JSON, not JSON, but JSON. If you use JSON, if I don't, you return it as a, a different format, a response format. So it's going to be like this, a JSON dumps and I'm going to pass in my custom info here so let's give it as custom info then you can also use the sort key let's go to true I'm not sure for something like this and then you have to indent it to true right I think something like this yeah so let's make this one to false right let's make this particular stuff to false Sort of true so that it doesn't sort it out so sort keys is called false okay perfect so so we'll be sending this particular result json results json is going to be a result json perfect right so this is what we'll be sending here inside our preformat as this so now let's try and see what is going to work so using the refresh button to refresh it perfect see that now yeah, it is showing the format here so that if i paste in a test like hello well this is easy so let's go with nlp5 perfect right so now you see that it was able to get our tokens and then that's able to give us in a not that bad format right here perfect so you have been to Work on two aspects now let's check and see how to put all the other stuff here so we have custom tokens word info let's check to let's see how to put out of speed tagging to the custom dot pos for part of speed tagging then if you go with the part of speed tagging just going to create the same format here that we had which is going to be something like this 
the list post it, paste it here then instead of password this time we have our test our lima and then no shape no use these ones you can use something like let's use tags right tags tag not tax string and then we need token dot pos for our Google format we have so we have three bank format automatic and then Google format then we can also move on to the next one which is going to be our token dot dependencies steps right perfect so that is the most important thing for our part of speed target So we are going to work on this, and the next thing we need to work on is our, our entity. So we go to that custom entities, right? Then here we are not going to use tokens, let's use something different. So entity, so I'm going to put inside the tuple. So entity, can't spell entity, entity dot test, then entity dot label, right? Then don't don't forget to bring the dash for the string representation. Then it's going to be for entity in entity in docs dot dot ends. That is how to work on entities in. So we are going to get our custom path to speak and entities. So to work on a sentiment, we don't use NLP using test block. So I'm just going to go with our uh, block. It's going to be test block. And the pattern in our raw test, right? So with this, that we're going to create our sentiment. So it's going to be blob sentiment, then blob dot sentiment. This is going to create our sentiment. So with this, we can just get the dot sentiment dot polarity, and then create another one for our selectivity. So let's use that for our sentiment, and then let's use this one for our polarity, right? Or subjectivity. 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 <laughs> it is going to be uh, subjectivity, subjectivity. Perfect. So we'll be sending all these things tokens, custom, post, and then blob, sentiment and result here. Right. We'll be sending them into this particular format. Custom dot Blog sentiment, right? So you have them to work on these things in a very nice format. So we can then send these ones to our A table. So we know how to send, look through a single individual one, and then we know how to get our performance test. So I'm just going to paste the design with the bootstrap tab here, right? So that it becomes faster. Now it's print. Okay. okay, so let's explain it. So it's just the same stuff that we did in the previous one that we had, which was this stuff we have, right? But we are putting them inside a particular table. So that is the same stuff we are doing. Okay, let's explain it here. Okay, so the purpose, this is just for normal bootstrap styling, right? So we are creating an, a nap table tab. And then we are the most important thing to allow us to do the nap table tab is to go with a href and a data dot toggle. Then we are giving it an ID, and we are hooking this particular ID to our particular session, right? This is going to be this ID. So ID 1, 1A, it will one day data on the tab, 1B, then we are hooking it here, right? So that is the most important thing. So if this was classes, we also make this one as one of the class. Then we are looping through our normal test to get it. We have created a simple table with our word, and we are looping through our word and placing them individually. By 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We are list, because it's a list comprehension. Remember that this is a list comprehension. So we are putting it in this particular format. And then we are also doing the same thing for our name entities and our part of speak target. And then our sentiment analysis, we are also sending them blob sentiment and then blob subjectivity. This is coming from blob sentiment and blob subjectivity. And then our result tokens, custom tokens. Okay, so now let's check on the this particular dictionary. So to work on a dictionary, we just go to this particular URL, right? Then I'm looping it through it. Then I'm looping through our URL, these individual tokens. 
So let's see how to do that. If I go to dictionary.com, let's save it and then let's refresh it as it's refreshed. Let's check on this. If I go to dictionary.com, right, if I come to this place and I type in a word, so let's give it a word. Let's give it a word like computer or something. Right? If I give the word like computer and I search for this particular word here. If you check the URL, it's going to use this particular word inside our URL. Right? It's going to use, you see that it's using a word here, right? Inside computer. If I change this particular word to something different, let's give a different word. Let's say of something like lab, right? And I run it, it's going to bring it in this particular URL. It's the query, right? So this is what we are thinking. We are thinking this entire stuff here. And then you know, you realize that it's only the this particular in between the browser, this particular stuff that is changing, not the entire stuff. So that is exactly what we are we are doing in this place. So you're take, just taking the same way that we have, and we are looping it, looping our particular token inside this particular option, so that we can just open it in the plan space so when you click on it. It is very simple to do. Okay, and then our result of taking. So now let's see. Let me add the CSS style here. So let me add the CSS stuff here, as I said, and then let's see the result of what we have done so far. So I see that now it is showing in a very nice format, as we already have done, right? So we see that all the words are showing. If I click on this, it is changing here. If I click on this, it is changing, right? It is changing. And then the main idea for allowing this to change is we are using the tab and then we are tagging it, right? We are hooking it with the H and then to the particular ID that is why you're able to click on it and then it changes individually very nice very simple okay. so we are going to work with our particular test so let me paste the test and see what is going to work so hello world this is the final let's move on to API let's huh. ah. move on so I will be fine and then it's going to analyze it first. I hope it doesn't give us any errors. Okay, now see that it's showing perfectly. If I go to the word info, all the words have been filled inside their respective places. Name entities, it couldn't get any name entities, of course. Part of speed tagging, showing sentiments, meaning, and then if you go down to the JSON format, it's giving us this JSON format. But we will format this JSON format later to make it interesting and better. Okay, now let's move on to our API, right? If I go to the API session, there is nothing there. So let's move on to our API stuff. So let's work on creating the API. So I'm just going to do the same step here. I need to copy our Nava from here to here, right? Then copy that one here to make to give us our API stuff. I'm just going to create a route. This is going to be let's use a URL for so URL for then go for coin because that's basic that's the basic basic API right okay then let's create this particular stuff for basic API let's create another one for our image cloud as well so we don't waste any time I'm going to collect images Cloud. Okay. So we have two stuff here. We have this one here and then this one here. Right. So let me put it inside our index. Perfect. So now we have them to work with this. Now let's work on this particular API stuff. So the API doc is going to go with this particular option. I'm going to put the div and then the class of container. You have seen the mistake I've made. Okay, so let me paste it here. It's supposed to be a started workshop. Then I'm going to show how it's going to be. So, this is how it's going to be. So, let's use a div, then class alert, alert info, and then now place in a simple Peter. So, the API is going to be a URL. So, let's call the localhost backslash. The port itself, right? Slash our API. 
and then we're going to give our particular token that we want to use. So which is going to be our resource or our endpoint. So we'll use tokens. Then we're going to supply our test, right? We're going to supply whatever test that you want to place. So your test, we're going to supply the test. So if I save it and I go back to our API here, let's hope it works. I save this one, save this. So we need to create this particular route. So let's go to our API stuff to create our route. This is for our normal analysis. So because we were able to create list comprehensions from these ones, we need the same list comprehensions to gen to genify it to create that API. So that's the basic idea for the API. So I'm just going to call it normal route. So let me copy this one. The easiest thing to do is to copy. <laughs> okay, let's go with basic API. Then I need to change this one to be able to Perfect. So we don't need returning it to any template. They're just using JSON if I JSON if I know JSON, right? So perfect. That's the basic stuff that we'll be doing for all of these things. So for now, let's return it to our result or RESTful API. Docs. Rest, RESTful API docs. Which is referring to this particular boundary. So I'm going to click on it. We need to do. So that's for the first route for our basic API, given as a documentation. Now let's create our individual tokens. So this is going to be for our tokens. So API tokens, right? So perfect. So I need to create one called API. And let's make this one as API. API API slash tokens right this is going to be our resource or endpoint then we need to use a string stuff so string we yeah, accept a string then my test so I need to pass this my test that I'm creating into our function here so this is going to be our API tokens and I'm passing in my string this particular string coming from here so perfect. So the same stuff you are going to do is what we are doing for all of them to create all the API stuff. So I need to bring in my docs, create a function called docs, then the NLP, but the NLP object coming from here, right here, which we use to create this, right? That's the same thing. So we are using the same idea that we have here to create our tokens. So I just copy this one and paste because it's already the same aspect. So I need to pass in my test. So not notice that here it is my test, my test. Then I'm using the same stuff here. So if I want to get as a JSON, I'm just go with JSON file. Then I'm going to pass in my custom tokens because it's already a list comprehension. Okay, so let's save it. So that is rest for API. We also need to create one for the image cloud. Remember that we also created a route for our images cloud, right? So let's create this so that it doesn't break again. So I'm just going to use the same stuff here. So I'm just going to put something simple. So copy this one and then use it for our image cloud. So this is going to be our images cloud, right? So let's kill it here. And then here we're going to call it as images. Right, perfect. So we will go to this particular image folder. Which is referring to this uh, image here. There's nothing there, right? So perfect. Now let's save it. And then let's run it and see whether it's going to work. Perfect, right? That means that it's working now. Now it's working. So it's showing us our how to use our particular token in this particular field. So let's try it and see what it's going to work. I'm going to go with tokens, then backslash hello world. Let's try it and see. Perfect, right? That means that our JSON is working, right? Our JSON format, the one we are JSON defining is working. So it's working in a very nice format. Okay, so with that particular idea, we are going to 
use it to build all our different JSONs, all our different API points, endpoints. So this is going to be for our API tokens. So let's create it for our Lima. So this is going to be for our Lima, Lima, Lima. So Lima, right? This is going to be for our Lima. And then the same, the same format, right? But this one we're going to go with a token dot lima. Then, so let me put this one inside a tuple. Perfect, right? So this is going to be our lima. So let's change it to lima to lima. So I'm going to create another endpoint, right? For Tokens are our lima. Perfect. So let me copy and paste. So this is how to do that for all of them. So let me copy and paste the rest because it's the same repetition. And then we already have our tokens here, right? Our wedding info and our part of speed tagging. So we'll be using this particular server that we had for this. Copy this to create our next endpoint for our part of speed tagging. So API POS and use the same format that we have, right? So be using the same style that we had. Create our part of speech. If you want to use part of speech, but I don't think we need to go with it. If in case you want to use it, right? You can also create something like that. But let's do this for the word info. So let's call this NL form from this to something different. Let's give it as NLP5 right, to get all of them. Right? And we return in this particular stuff. Okay, so we return it. So something like this is interesting. But in case you want to make the formatting nicer, you can also do that. So let's see how to do that. So to make the formatting very nice, you can just use this is already inside the token, right? So you can just use the normal string format. So dot format. In case you are using Python 3.6 and Apple, you can also use F strings. Then I'm going to paste in this one. So I can just go with the normal stuff for token dot token not token dot. And then I'll use the normal stuff, right? For the string format for all of these stuff to make it quite interesting. So let me copy it so that it will appear more so that the person needs to see it more. So let me copy it and paste it here. And then to auditor. That's going to give us all the uh, word data, right? So all the data. Perfect. So that's what I mean. I meant by that. Perfect. So that is for our NLP file. We can also create another one for our name entities using the same format. It's going to be entities or entities, right? Then this and then this becomes entity. So it can be entities. And remember that the entities here was this particular option. That's what we used. So we just paste it here. And then go with entities. Perfect. Right, so that is the same thing. So this one can be duplicated to give to go with this or any R so that in case the person uses the word any R to be to get it. So any R entities entities. So this is going to be for our any R. But in case the person uses the same thing, it's going to also be returned for a particular stuff. Okay. So that is something big. And let's work on the sentiment analysis. So I'll just copy and paste it because it's just going to be easy. So for the sentiment analysis, we'll not be using NLP objects, but we're using the test block just as we did here, right? So this is the same thing that you'll be using in this particular sentiment analysis option. Right, perfect. And then we're going to return it perfectly in a nice manner. So that is the basic idea about it for our round. So all that to create the API is just to create an endpoint. We see the 10 as a string, pass that particular test. 
right inside our function you you process it with NLP or test block then you create a list comprehension then you return it via JSON file right then it's going to produce it in a very nice format for us so that is for our API stuff now let's work on our web cloud right so we need we have already created an image cloud we need also to be able to import some other stuff to allow us to create our web cloud so I'm just going to import web cloud so we're going to be from web cloud import web cloud then we also need to so we need to also import mat plot so how do we import this so import mat mat plot lib that's pi plot as plt right these are the basic stuff that we need to import so we, we also had time and then the word length so we can also import them so import time and then also need to import byte i right so it's going to be from io import byte i right so i also use string i but i prefer byte i so, so that these are the other stuff we need so to work on the time can just quit create the time here as our start it's going to be time dot time then at the end of it here, we're going to call us n. Then n is going to be time. The time. Then we're going to get our final time. It's going to be our n minus our start. And I need to pass this final test, final time here. So let's create our C test to return the entire stuff there. So raw test. Then a final time the final time going to final time you can add several stuff to it if you want that is the length of the words which you can also use in and in case you want to add the length of words so let's try that one it is going to be word length then just pass in as length Test, right so you can just add several stuff if you want to use it in particular so these are the basic stuff for them this is going to be our test that we should be sending here so let's create a day for that and this is going to be our C test right and then we can also create another one for the time it's going to be our Final time. Then we can even add another as option there for our time for our word length. So p is going to be test length. Let's give it as test length instead of word length. So here. Right here. Okay, so you can just pass that one also here. Perfect. Now we are going to work on some different stuff. So these are the basic idea parts. Now store on the images that we are working on. We have already created an image route. We need to also create another image route for where we are going to put our stuff. So this is going to be for video. So I'll paste it. Go with this. This one goes up. Right. So we have our image route showing us what to do. We have our test, which is going to go inside our test file here, which I'll face something later. And then this is going to be the one that's going to generate our web cloud. So we are passing whatever test we are supplying into our web cloud, right? So the web cloud goes with the background image of white, the mood. The width and the length, and then we are passing through our test into this generate file. That's how to work with web cloud. Then we are going to plot it and then save it to buffer, right? To memory. <laughs> and then we are going to save it and then we're going to return this send file, which we imported from the top here. This send file here to send it to render it on our display. Right? That's the basic idea for this particular stuff. So that's the basic idea. So I'll just paste it in other CSS 
custom all and stuff for all of them so that's the stuff so the basic idea is that we're just going to create import our bootstrap import our nlp packages import all the other stuff you need for our web cloud and our json file and our json then just going to create our first route for our index then we're going to analyze our data right coming from our form which is here data that data is coming from our particular form here right so we're using raw test to receive it and then we are sending the via push to our route analyzer then when we receive all those tests we're go going to store inside a variable called raw test create an nlp object with spacing and then create this comprehensive for our tokens for our word info for our part of speech and tagging for entities for our test sentiment we're going to use test blog not nlp then i'm just going to create it like that or oh, and then to create our json pretest format we're going to use json.dump to create our particular test format that's the basic one for the analysis then for the api we're just going to create a simple api endpoint with the resource of token then we are passing in a string right so whatever string you're passing in see the string pass the string to our api function pass it to our nlp object and then use the same list comprehension that you created here same format to create a list comprehension then return it as a json that is the basic idea for that's what we did for all our entities our lemma our nal sentiment and then our nlp then for the web cloud we also do this something similar we are passing through the test then passing that particular test that we have into our fake function we are plotting it passing through web cloud showing it and then saving it and then using send file to send it to our image image cloud so we needed this is just going to tell how to do it so inside our image file we are sending a file called my test right that is in case you want to do it right so let me paste that one thing this may not be used useful but let's paste it like that one so that is the basic idea about it now let's check it and see that is going to work right so now our app is working in a simple format right so we have our api also point right which i pasted it them here so this is how it's going to be and then our image cloud perfect so everything is working perfectly so if i check for the api with something simple right it's an example and see so api let's give it a word like sentiment then thanks for watching perfect so, so see that thanks for watching was shown it works in the polarity of 0 0.2 sanity of 0 0.2 right. so thank you and then thank you for watching this long tutorial if you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section for everybody to benefit and please don't forget to subscribe and to check the links below for more and as well as for the code thank you and then stay blessed